Hey folks, hope you're all doing well on this fine Thursday. Um, hope you're all in good health and spirits, you know, doing what you what you know and love best. Um, because that's uh, that's what makes a happy individual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am back again with another rambling video. Um, and I skipped a rambling video last week. I didn't record one just because I wanted to put out more comedy videos. And I do regret that <laughs> because I really want to fit in these rambling videos as a regular thing into my into my video uploading schedule because while they might not get a whole lot of attention they do a lot of good for me in this whole youtube process you know making videos and all that uh, because man recording videos and the whole editing process and recording process it is so involved it takes a lot of energy and these rambling videos you know they don't take a, a whole lot um, you could just kind of talk and, and you, you know, you get a lot off your mind. It's, it's very therapeutic in a large way because it's a mode of like venting. Um, and I guess venting has sort of like semi-negative connotations because it denotes this expression of pent up, like maybe antsy feelings. But no, I, I don't use that word in that way. I, I think of it more as like just airing the things on your mind, you know, expressing things so that you can give them a more concrete form in your mind. And they aren't just like all wafting about in your brain with no form and making you all confused, right? <laughs> uh, maybe that makes sense to some people. But um, yeah, this week, just kind of going off on what I really wanted to talk about, I kind of wanted to focus on patience in regards to content creation. Um, and I haven't been in content creation for a whole long time now, only a few months by this point. But man, you know, it really is an art trying to muster up that patience for the long run, right? You know, because success doesn't come overnight. And that's the harsh reality of content creation. Most content creators, they, they can't expect just rapid success. It's it's a long process, you know, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And that's kind of the biggest thing. Really, I think it's the biggest struggle for me as a content creator, like being patient with the whole process of building up your success. Um, because that is something I do want to do, you know, I do want success as a content creator, right? <laughs> Everyone does. Like, you don't just want to put out content for nothing. Like, you want some feedback from that. You want some engagement. You want actual traction. Otherwise, there's there's kind of no point to it. I mean, you might be making it for yourself. And if it satisfies you, there's a point to that, right? You know, and that's fine. I mean, if you want, if you want to do it just for yourself, that's perfectly fine. But I think I'm the kind of person, and I think a lot of content creators follow the same thought process, you know, you want to do something you love for a living. And the only way you can make that happen is if the content gets attention. So, like, keeping all that in mind is difficult. It's like you're doing this, and you love it, of course, and that spurs you on in a large way. But you want other people to love it, too. Because that's the only way it's going to get success. That That's the only way it's going to support you in, in doing something you love. So kind of, like, pulling that back to patience it's, it's difficult to start, and you don't see your content getting anywhere, um, and you work so hard on it. And when you're done with it, like, you genuinely feel like you've made something great. I mean, that's what I can say for myself anyway. Like, I'm genuinely proud of the content I make. And not to say it's perfect or anything, but it's like, I I'm really happy with how my stuff turns out. Like, I think it's genuinely uh, quality content. So it's difficult to put all that hard work into a project and, you know, see it getting much traction. And it makes you feel bad. Like, it kind of gives you an existential crisis. Um, it's hard to see something you put a lot of work into not get much attention, you know? And no one really intends for you to feel that way. But it just kind of happens that when you don't see something that you worked hard on, getting a lot of love and support... You know, it feels like kind of a, a knock in the gut. Um, and again, not to say anyone means for that to happen, but it just kind of happens. Like, emotionally, naturally, we get so invested in the stuff we create. We can't really not love anything we create. So, you know, it's just kind of like a natural part of the process, right? It's, it's a harsh reality to see something like that happen. 
Um, and I know I'm not the only one. I mean, I know there are millions of content creators out there who put so much work into something, and it could likely be something really great. Something which could really change a lot of people's lives or give them great entertainment. But, uh, man, it's just the market. And for, it's for a number of reasons that the things like that don't take off. You know, like the market could be too saturated. Maybe there's a vital part of the, of the algorithm you overlooked. I know, I, don't, I know you shouldn't pass off all your problems on the algorithm, but let, let's face it, it is a big part of it. Um, or, you know, it could be you too. But it's like there's so many things that you could chalk it up to, right? Your, uh, your lack of success. But I think, you know, the, um, a big part of it is just credibility. It's like people might watch something that you made. And, you know, it might be genuinely, objectively great. But they don't know you, really. They don't recognize you. And, and you haven't built up much of a reputation for yourself. So... It's like they watch it and they might be entertained, but it kind of just, they move on from there. It's like they watch the video, they like it, but they don't really think about it much after they watched it. Just because you, you know, you haven't really built up much of a reputation. And that's where I really think the patience element has to come into play in content creation. It's like, I think a lot of the time you got to be patient just with the process of uploading regularly, you know, just so you can put yourself out there. And people, like, over time, they see your content, and it keeps popping up, keeps popping up, keeps popping up. Eventually, that gets people curious, you know? It's like they see that, okay, you know, this guy, man, he's been really consistent with his content, and I, I keep seeing his face. I kind of want to know what he's all about now. So it's just like you keep going at it. You keep making videos. You keep throwing your stuff out there. And eventually, it triggers something in the potential viewer's brain. Like, he might see your thumbnail, and he thinks, Hey, I keep seeing this guy. You know, I'm going to finally check out what he's about. It's just because it keeps bugging me. Um, and they might not be consciously thinking this. I think a lot of it would happen on a subconscious level. Um, like, when I think about the videos I watch, I mean, that happens with me, I think. Or I'll see a content creator who keeps getting recommended to me in my feed. And, you know, I'll just not pay much attention to them for a while. But then after some time, I keep thinking, like, man, you know, I keep seeing this person. I'm just going to check them out for the heck of it. Just to get that FOMO out of the way. You know, the fear of missing out. Or, or something like that. Now, again, I think most of this happens on a subconscious level. But a big part of uh, content creation or at least promoting your content creation, kind of has to factor into that subconscious. You know, you can't really be a content creator without also being an advertiser. Like, you, you need to be good at promotion. Uh, and, I mean, let's face it, advertising is a really complex game. It's like, there's so many elements to it that play on a lot of the subconscious part of, of who we are. It's like, we might not be thinking something actively, but there's something going on in our minds which makes us want something even though we might not know we want it, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so I think it's important just to be regular with it, while also, of course, making sure you are putting out quality content. Um, and, uh, you know, just to be clear, it, it is hard for me to, uh, I mean, I could give advice on being patient, but Man, you know, it genuinely is hard for me to, like, because when I put my hard work into something, I want to see it take off immediately, you know? It's like, man, I can't wait to see this take off. I can't wait to see people react to it. Um, so it's hard to see it not take off <laughs> at the end of the day. But you got to keep the bigger picture in perspective. Um, you kind of got to know that this is a part of content creation. And so many people have gone through it. Um, but I do think that with consistency, you do find success. So, yeah, that's kind of mostly what I want to say on this subject. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's important to be patient. And also, of course, realizing that the thing you make, it might not take off now, but it could take off easily in a week or a month or, you know, a year or two. Keeping that in mind, too, is also important. Like, just realizing that there could be a ticking time bomb on this video, and it might not be blowing up now, 
but it could easily blow up later, you know? Like, you never know. You never know. And that's why I think it's just important to make content. Um, I was watching a video from uh, Tom Scott where he was saying that, uh, I think the title of his video was uh, How to Get Popular on the Internet. And um, his short answer, really, which he introduced right at the start of the video, was you just make stuff, you know? Like, and I think that is so powerful. Like, just put your creativity out there. And sooner or later, it's bound to find an audience. Sometime, somewhere, somehow. It's gotta happen. Um, so long as you love the process, so long as your passion for that process comes out, then I think it's inevitable that you should find success eventually. So those are all things that I try to keep in mind to comfort myself in this whole journey of making videos on YouTube. Um, because, I mean, I'm gonna outline my dream right now. I do wanna get to a million subs. I wanna get over a million subs. I wanna find success on this platform. I wanna get ahead. I wanna make this be something that I can sustain myself with, you know, as a living. And through that, like, sustaining the people I love, my family, my friends, all the people I know who are struggling and who I really firmly believe need help. You know, those are all the things that I'm fighting for. And, you know, I'm trying to keep that stuff in mind to fuel my motivation in this content creation process. And, you know, I think that's big too, like having a dream. Patience, I think, is really fueled by dreams. The things that you're fighting for um, in this whole journey. Because if you don't have a dream, like if you don't have some big goals in mind, it's hard to put in that big energy that's required to keep being a YouTuber or a content creator. So, you know, yeah, yeah. I, yeah there's something else I wanted to say, though, on, on the subject of patience. Um, let's see if I can remember it. Um, oh, now I remember what it was. So, um... I think it's also important to, to like, not think too much about how long you're waiting for something to take off. I think if we can, and this takes a heck of a lot of effort sometimes, but I think it really helps to, like, try to find ways to, so that we're not thinking of how hard we're working. If possible, we should be so invested in the production of our content, in the creation of, of the stuff we're making, that we're not really even thinking about how hard we're working. You know, it should kind of like, ideally, it should be a natural flow. You know, something which feels almost habitual to us. Something which we really feel we can give ourselves to. And in the process of giving ourselves to that production, we're not really even thinking about how much time, how much effort we're putting into it. It's like we enter into this zone where time isn't passing, a zone in which it's catered to our natural abilities, to our natural skills, so much so that it's kind of our own personal paradise. Um, and in that paradise, we aren't really focusing on, you know, how much energy we're exhausting we're focusing more on just the process of being, just being in that zone, you know? Giving ourselves to something so fully that we aren't really even thinking about ourselves, you know? So in that way, it's kind of like we're taking ourselves out of ourselves. And I guess that sounds kind of contradictory, phrasing it like we're in our own personal zone. But it's like... We're not quite thinking of ourselves. It's like it comes out of this selfish zone where we're not quite thinking of what we're going to get out of this thing with how much effort we put into it. It's like we're in the here and now and we're getting satisfaction out of just being where we are, focusing on something that we love and putting our alls into it and just being satisfied that we are dedicating our efforts into something wholeheartedly, you know? That's powerful, I think, to just give ourselves so fully to something that we aren't even thinking of what we'll get out of it in that moment. Um, like, in that moment, we're kind of just in the zone. 
Now, when we come out of the moment, I think, is when we really enter the the dangers of all those ruminating thoughts, right? I mean, I dare say even those chaotic thoughts, which give us all these doubts and fears about, you know, putting so much work into something and not getting anything back from it. I think all of those problematic thoughts come when we're not giving our all to something. You know, when we're, I mean, for me anyway, I find that my anxieties, they come when I'm not working. <laughs> like, they come when I'm not uh, really focusing on something fully. And for me, that's kind of like a, a wake-up call. It's like, John, okay, come on, wake up. You're not focusing. You're not putting your heart into this. And you're not going to get anywhere if, you, if you're not putting your heart into this. So, you know, my biggest advice to small content creators, and you know, not to put myself up on this pedestal as like this guy who can give advice with a lot of merit. Because, I mean, I'm in the same boat as a lot of small content creators, right? Uh, but, I mean, just to cement it in my own mind, I'd like to say that the biggest way you fight impatience in content creation is to give yourself fully to that process. Love it. Adopt it as that, you know, vulnerable little animal or, or child, uh, you know? Because it, it really, it, it is kind of like that, you know? Uh, we're approaching this formless mass of potential, and we mold it into something special, something which means a lot to us. I, I can genuinely liken it to adopting uh, a vulnerable little child or, or pet who, you know, they might not seem like anything at that time, but you see a lot of potential there for something great and, and beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and that potential is beautiful in its own right, too. You know, just knowing that we can put something of ourselves in the content that we adopt, uh, that's also really special. You know, like there are so few things in this world that we can really kind of mark our identities on. Content creation is one of those things that we can really put our, our trademark on. It's like we embed it with a part of our identities, a special part of ourselves, which we can look back on and really say, yeah, that's me in there. It's, I, I see a bit of myself in that. And I'm kind, of, I'm kind of tearing up, actually, as I'm talking about this, because I feel so strongly about, about this element of content creation, this very personal element. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess, ultimately, I want to say, do it for the sake of doing it. And, you know, it's hard, because I, I know it's unrealistic to just do this for the sake of doing it. Like, if you feel you're really good at something, you know, you're ultimately going to want to turn that into a living somehow. And to do that, well, your content has to make money, and your content only makes money if people pay attention to it. So, you know, that's all hard, but I think for me, it really helps when I'm really just focusing on the creative vision of my project. Um, so those are a few thoughts <laughs> um, in no particular order. Uh, those are my thoughts on patience. Those are my thoughts on fighting patience. It's hard for me. I know it's really hard for other people to... And man, I, I'm right with you all. I, I'm putting my nose to the grindstone. Man, ugh. and it's hard, but the, you know, the only thing I can say to you as a fellow content creator on the same level as you is just keep going at it. Like, if you truly love it, there's no point in throwing it all to the wayside. I mean, I know for myself, I love making videos. And I, it's like I get tempted sometimes to think, man, you know, maybe I should just throw this all to the wayside. I'm not getting anywhere with it. I'm not really supporting myself with it yet. Uh, it's not getting much attention. But still, I really love doing this. And it might take a lot of effort, which could distract me from doing something which could make me more money right now. But, I mean, the fact is, I really just do keep loving it. <laughs> I mean, I really just love the process. And so long as that is the case, even if it does take a lot of work, uh, you know, I've determined that I want to keep doing it. So I'm just going to keep putting my nose to the grindstone, just keep hoping that stuff takes off. Um, you know, just keeping those dreams in mind. <laughs> Always keeping those dreams in mind, right? <laughs> and also, I think, remembering that there's no payoff without hard work. 
I mean, we could keep saying to ourselves, man, I'm putting so much work into this. It's not getting me anywhere. Therefore, I should quit. Well, I would argue that if we didn't put that much hard work into it, you know, we wouldn't have much fulfillment, you know, in, in doing it. Um, I find for myself, anyway, that the, the degree of satisfaction which I find upon completing a process is directly proportionate to how much work I put into it. So it might not get a lot of attention, but just for your own personal satisfaction, it's worth putting work into it. Because by the end of it, you're going to see the results of that work yourself. Like, you're going to be happy with the effort that you put into it. It's going to show in the quality of your work. And that's going to make you say, man, <laughs> I'm happy with this. I could come back to this in a year or two, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and I'm gonna be happy with the work I put into this in hindsight. So hindsight's big too, I think. You know, keep it in mind that uh, you will come back to this and you will find satisfaction in it as a creator, even if I dare say no one else does. You know, so have that self-dignity too. And I don't say that in, in a condescending way. But I do think it's important for all of us content creators to realize that as creators, we have that ability to judge whether something is good, just like naturally. Uh, and not to say we can't improve, we always certainly can improve, but just by the nature of being content creators, we have an ability to judge whether something is quality, whether there's heart and soul in a project. So yeah, and I kind of want to end on those words because uh, I think that's a good note to end on. But uh, yeah, in conclusion, I just want to encourage all content creators to keep going at it if it's something they enjoy doing. It, you know, nothing you enjoy doing is worth abandoning, even if you don't see much attention coming from it. I mean, that's why we have hobbies, right? We don't throw aside hobbies that we have just because they aren't getting us money, right? Uh, no, we do them because we enjoy doing them. I mean, think of the video games you play, or you might have outdoor hobbies, or... I mean, all of us have stuff we enjoy doing that doesn't get us money, and we do it just because we enjoy doing it. Well, I encourage all small content creators to adopt the same attitude when it comes to making videos. Because, man, when you focus on how much you love doing it, that's half the battle, I think. But, uh, yeah, you know... Everyone just keep doing their best. Keep going at it. I encourage everyone to just keep making content. And I'm going to try to do the same. So on that note, good luck to everyone out there. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you keep doing great. And, you know, let's keep cheering each other on the best we can in whatever we do. So hope you all have a good Thursday and, and you all have a great uh, rest of the week. <laughs> Whatever's left of it. So take care, you all. It's been great rambling. And thank you so much for listening to my rambles, if you took the time to do so. Uh, it's always very therapeutic for me to talk on like this about just whatever's on my mind. So keep up the good work, you all. And I'll catch you on the next recording. Or hopefully, hey, if you all want to watch my videos, you know where to find them. <laughs> okay, well, take care, you all. Have a good one.